Hello and welcome to day four of the World Power Athletics Championships here at London Stadium, home of London 2012. And this year it's home of the IAAF and the IPC World Championships for the first time held in the same venue. Well, the weather today, 21 degrees is the high expected. It feels like it's going to be a little bit warmer than that with quite a low wind speed. Helpful for the athletes. There you can see the weather. What a day indeed it is. Blue skies all around this wonderful stadium. The women's long jump T38 without Margarita Goncharova. Russia, of course, no Russian para-athletes at these championships, but we do have the likes of Anna Trena Vecjak of Poland, who was a bronze medalist last year at the Paralympics and bronze in the European Championships as well. Ten days of these championships. This is day four. And this is the women's long jump, T38, which they're getting sorted for. Erin Cleaver, who you saw of Australia there, Fifth at the Paralympics on the right-hand side of your screen back in 2016. Fourth at these World Championships back in 2015. She'll be the first athlete to go in this event. Looking to improve slightly on that performance from a couple of years ago. I'm Tolson Tollett. Will Downing is beside me. And, of course, Vanessa Lowe also in commentary. who's not competing at these games for entry. Vanessa having won gold medals in it. A beautiful day. Couldn't be any better for competing. So next up for Germany, Lindy Ave. Silver on the track already in the T38. Splitting up the Britons, Hahn and Cox in the 400. And as you'll know for many years, uh, the field programme in Germany, very, very strong. Very strong, and she's quite new to the sport. I think last year it was her first international season, so she definitely gained some good experience last year. And I think we can expect some really good, good performances of her this time, and they already, she already showed uh, what she's capable of and what she worked on last, last couple of nights. Red hair, red flag, and it's a pity because, as you'll have seen, that went out towards the five-metre mark. T38, 200 metres it was, the silver medal. Just about a foul. More than just about. Just keep going into the plasticine. Yeah, sometimes it's quite hard to find find the way into the competition. Sometimes the wind conditions aren't just great, and sometimes you just don't feel it. Lindy Ave of Greifswald, which I think is just outside Hanover. 4.34 in the second round, and a foul in the first. Ave, silver in that 200 metres behind Hahn, ahead of Cox. It's not bad, it's beyond four and a half, and the flag is white. Good prospect. Needs 4.50 to get into the medals, and Matane is 4.47. Obviously, four and a half would be fine. Cleaver and Breen both on 4.61. Locked at the top. Lifetime best, 4.57. And that puts her into the bronze medal position. And she stays in fifth place. Lindy Ave again. Well, that lifetime best she equaled earlier of 4.57, and she'll now have to break it in order to win a medal here. Remember, it is coordination impairment. 
strongest of these categories. Met the board well, and it's a little pity because her left leg dragged a bit, and if it wasn't for that, might have cost her about 20 centimetres. I think she was fine on the board, and just looked that left leg came down there. Unfortunately, you measure the last mark. I have the same issue. I keep pulling my right leg back. Um, it's sometimes really hard to, to actually make the last mark, the farthest one. Four thirty-six. She stays in fourth place. Breed as well. Hannah Cockcroft and Olivia Breen's that with a lifetime best of four eighty-one. Erin Cleaver of Australia four sixty-one for her. Just one centimeter below her lifetime best, and it's Poland's Anna Trina Versiak who picks up the bronze. Great Britain lead the way with nine gold medals. Tatiana McFadden has picked up her second of these championships for the United States of America. They're in second place on eight. China and Tunisia still remain tied for third. Plenty of work to be done throughout these championships. There's no doubt whatsoever that those countries will improve from where they are at present. Marcel Hoog with Switzerland's only gold so far, but he may well improve on that later on this evening. France, one of the countries yet to pick up a gold medal. They do have a silver and a bronze. All these countries, Thailand, surprising they haven't picked up anything yet in the T54 category. They may well later on. And all the way down to the United Arab Emirates, all these countries have at least one medal.